Yo, what's up everybody, it's episode 2, it's me, Jelani Remy, I had to come through with a little freestyle at the top of the dome, so kick back, relax, make yourselves at home, we back. So today in episode 2, I wanted to talk to some of the unsung heroes behind the scenes here at The Lion King. Um, there's a lot of people that put this show together, there's sound people, there's stage managers, uh, there's company management, you know, um, there's prop people, there's wardrobe people, makeup people, and I wanted to maybe talk to a couple of them just to give you um, behind the scenes, because that's a big important thing that we need for sure, uh, a glimpse of what that's like. So, here I go. Look at all the costumes, at all the costumes. Let's see who <laughs> runs this job. Let's talk to people in wardrobe. Yoo-hoo! Hey, Kel. Hello. Kel Anderson, our wardrobe supervisor. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm, hey, I'm pretty great. I want to know about your history with the show. How long have you been with Disney's The Lion King? Um, actually, I started the very first gig with Lion King 21 years ago. Wow, that's older than me. Yep. <laughs> What's so funny, everybody? <laughs> and now, Kel, tell me the secret. Like, what? what's... What's the, with the costumes? Like, how do you keep it fresh? How do you how do you keep them so vibrant and exciting? We have all the Bibles in here with all the information of the original costumes. What? And we keep referring to that. Everything is documented. This is the OG. Photos, photos, fabric swatches, and oh we my gosh! Always go back to that so it stays fresh. The Simba corset. Yes. That is all hand beaded, correct? Yes. What is that? How long does that take to make? It takes a lot of hours. I couldn't tell you exactly how many. Huh? 125 hours. 125 hours? 125 hours to make a corset. So, this is that corset that they're talking about, you guys. <gasps> Whoa. It really is beautiful. Scare <laughs> So, as you can see, I'm all ready for the show. I have my mask from the puppet department with my microphone from the sound department, my makeup done by the makeup department, my costume from the wardrobe department, and all of those different departments have had a hand in this performance before I've even stepped on stage. Whew, isn't that amazing? So now, I'm gonna go out for my Hakuna Matata queue, and I'm gonna take you guys with me to see the stage manager make the actual call for my entrance. <laughs> This is Amy. Hello. And we're going to go up to Amy's queue. Amy, you're a stage manager here at Disney's I am, believe it or not. Excuse us. Stage manager's crossing. We actually refer to it as the Jelani Remy Show. You Excuse all may, me. You all may know it as the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amy, how many stage managers are in the show? There are five of us. Five? On Broadway, yes. And what are you doing today? So I'm going to call the show today. Does it rotate? Do you guys do different stuff? Yes, we usually do each track twice. There's a stage manager that calls. Don't run into anything. There's a stage manager, stage right, one stage left, one in the basement, and then one in the office. Cool. Just and the green grass grows all around, all around. I have another question. Yes. How many cues are in the Lion King? So there are around 600. That, what? In, that includes light cues. That includes cue, all cue lights as well. What's your favorite cue that I'm in? Uh, it's calling the sunrise in Endless Night. Light hey. cue 250. I even know the number because I love it so much. This is where I'm going to sit. You can see here. That's awesome. Let me turn this light on for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Places Call. Places, please, for the top of the show. Places, please. Maestro and Orchestra to the pit. We are at Places. Thank you. Thank you. Lights 102 and house out. Go. Thank you. Lights 102.2. Go. Point 0.3. Go. Point 0.5. Go. Lights 103.5. Go, lights 104. Go. That is so cool. Stage management. Now let's go see about the sound department. 
You guys, here he is, the man, the myth, Mr. Scotty Scheidt. How you doing, Scotty? Good, great. Hi, all. How long have you been with the Lion King? I've been with the Lion King since it came here to the men's golf in 2006. Oh my, and what do you do? I'm one of the deck sound men that uh, preps and uh, takes care of all the microphones. For, well, I'm in charge of the principal microphone. A principal microphone. So, just so happens I'm a principal. You are. So what are you doing, Scotty? Well, for you, I take this little transmitter that everybody wears on the show, and for you, I hide it in the head up here. You connect it to a microphone that's oh. already installed in there. It makes you sound great. The two little microphones live right there underneath your nose. <laughs> State your name and your purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Cohen, and my uh, purpose is... Um, Confidential. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Elizabeth is the head of the makeup department. The face. We call it face here. Right? Yes, we do. Face. And she gives face, too. She taught me how to give face. Elizabeth, what are you doing? I'm going to apply Nala's face to her face. <laughs> oh, I need man. a face. You got a lot of work to do, Elizabeth. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> guys, meet Butch. Hi, guys. Hi, Butch. Tell everybody what you do here at The Lion King. I do the deck automation of the Lion King. So around here we have Pride Rock, three elevators, uh, the tilting of the stage, and a few other things that are operated. It's all done down here. Wow. So when I go up the rock, hey guys, I go up Pride Rock and battle with Scar. It's this big intense thing. You're controlling that? Yes, correct. So what are you in for in episode three? It's all about the music, baby. I'm taking you guys on a vocal rehearsal. I'm taking you guys down to the pits, you can see the musicians, the instruments, and all the sounds that go into the Lion King. That's what we're doing. We're going to explore the music of the Pride Lands.